Learning that you've been diagnosed with cancer can often be a frightening and intimidating experience. Cancer is a disease that affects not only you, but friends and family as well. At First Coast Oncology, we understand the many intricate needs of the cancer patient, as well as his friends and family, and can provide the resources necessary to diagnose, treat, and support the cancer patient. We believe that it's our responsibility to treat our patients with the most advanced radiation treatment available in a compassionate and respectful environment. The healing of not only the cancer itself, but also working with many of the emotional and physical issues that patients have to deal with, besides just the radiation, these are the things we focus and work on, and we are actually good at getting people through difficult problems all the time and getting them through it successfully. The radiation therapy team at First Coast Oncology works hand in hand with your other physicians to ensure the best possible treatment for every patient. One of the first questions most patients have is about the side effects of radiation therapy. Because each patient is treated for different kinds or locations of cancer, side effects will be different for each patient. In general, most patients can expect hair loss in the areas being treated, red or irritated skin, minor fatigue, or a loss of appetite. Some patients may experience nausea or vomiting if radiation is being administered in the abdominal area. However, it is best to discuss this with your physician, who can advise you on any side effects you may experience and ways to minimize them. When a patient comes to our office, they are seen first by our nursing staff. Our nurses obtain a full history from our patients and make sure that they understand why they are here. Then, our social workers are available to see our patients and handle other issues that the patient may have. The patients are then seen by the physician, and again, another history and physical is obtained. Then, the physician makes the determination if the patient needs radiation therapy treatment or perhaps needs additional testing before a final decision is made. Once it's determined that radiation therapy treatments are recommended, then begins the process of receiving the radiation therapy treatments. The most common type of treatment that our patients receive in our office is external beam radiotherapy. A linear accelerator is like an x-ray machine, but it puts out x-ray beams that are much more intense than a conventional chest x-ray beam. The first step in the process is to do a simulation. After these simulations are done, then the data that we obtain from the simulation is given to our physics staff. Well, once a patient has gone through simulation and CT simulation, we actually do the treatment planning where we plan exactly how to treat the patient that is, what angles the beam should come in, how long the, the treatment time should be. With the advanced electronics and computers that we have, we can see the patient in 3D. We can see their internal organs, we can see the target we wish to hit, and the sensitive organs we want to avoid. We take our technical expertise, that is, the physics staff, physics dosimetry staff, and we sit with the medical doctor. And with their medical expertise and our technical expertise, we determine what the best plan actually is. And the physician will come back and say, well, let's try this or let's change this. And what we do is we fine tune the plan until it's the best plan for that patient. When the patient comes for treatment, they are brought into a room where the linear accelerator is. This is a very large room with very thick cement walls. These thick cement walls are used to protect people in adjacent rooms from receiving any radiation. The patient is placed on the radiation therapy table, and they may be put into a device that helps them stay in the same position every day. Things that are called a mold or a mask precisely position the part of the body that we are treating from day to day. Once the person is on the machine, they are then centered in a line, utilizing both lasers and x-rays to be sure that the tumor is centered in the radiation therapy beam. Then, the therapists leave the room and turn the machine on for a given period of time as prescribed by the physician and determined by our physics staff. The radiation therapy treatments are painless. They're just like getting an x-ray picture. Patients are usually surprised about the simplicity of the treatment because all they really notice is that they come into the room and lay down. We usually do all the work around them and then within usually five to 15 minutes, depending on where they're being treated, they're done with their treatment and all they had to do was lay there. After a few weeks, most patients do experience some side effects of radiation, and these are usually limited to the area that we are treating. For instance, if we are treating the abdomen, then patients usually experience nausea. If we are treating the chest, then the patients may experience difficulty swallowing. 
If we are treating a brain tumor, then patients may experience some hair loss. But when we treat a brain tumor, we don't see diarrhea, and when we treat the pelvis, we don't see any hair loss. Image-guided radiotherapy, or what we call IGRT, allows us to be more precise in the way we deliver radiation therapy treatments. With the patient on the treatment table, two high-resolution X-ray images are obtained. Using flat panel monitors, the physician compares these current images with the CT data set that was obtained at the time of the original simulation. The computer determines exactly where in space the patient is and then positions the patient up, down, left or right so that the tumor will be at the exact center of the radiation therapy beam. With the patient precisely and safely positioned, the radiation beam is turned on. During radiation therapy treatments, their position is continuously monitored for accuracy and we can turn off the beam should we detect any movement. This level of accuracy allows us to deliver treatment with higher precision and greater confidence. Intensity Modulated Radiotherapy, or IMRT, is a technique to deliver radiation therapy treatments more precisely. In the head of the linear accelerator are many small leaves. These leaves are opened or closed in order to help shape the radiation beam. What we have found is that if we move these leaves while the beam is on, we can vary the intensity of the radiation to certain parts of the radiation field. By varying the intensity of the radiation in the areas of critical structures and where the tumor is, we can deliver higher doses of radiation to the tumor and lower doses of radiation to the normal structures that are adjacent to the tumor. PET-CT imaging is a powerful hybrid approach to screening and diagnosis that can help us make more informed decisions about your care. With PET-CT, we can detect metabolic activity that in some cases reveals answers that other imaging cannot provide. The combined use of PET and CT scans can determine whether a tumor is malignant or not, the extent of growth, and sometimes help avoid unwarranted surgery. They are also useful in monitoring the effectiveness of radiation therapy and chemotherapy. You will be asked not to eat for four hours prior to your appointment and to refrain from exercise for 24 hours as well. During the procedure, which usually takes less than an hour, you will receive a dose of radioactive sugar via intravenous injection. The cancer cells take up this radioactive sugar. PET-CT produces images for us that allow us to localize these cancer cells. It is a non-invasive, comfortable, open design that allows our staff to interact with you every step of the way. Brachytherapy is a treatment for cancer that puts radiation inside the tumor. The way we do this is by putting catheters or radiation sources directly into tumors. If it's a catheter that we're using, we put the catheter into the tumor, and then we take the radiation source and put it into the catheter right into the center of the tumor. The advantage of brachytherapy over external beam radiation therapy is that by treating the tumor from within, we are giving less radiation to the structures outside of the tumor. When we do external beam radiation, the beam comes from outside the body and goes through many normal organs and structures before reaching the tumor. The brachytherapy source, however, is inside the tumor and the radiation is dissipated before it leaves the organ that the tumor is in. Our number one philosophy is that the patients come first. We are concerned with the patient's well-being, their comfort level, and the quality of treatment. These needs are foremost in my mind and guide the way we practice as a group. A cancer diagnosis is a life-changing event. Many cancer patients and their families experience temporary or even permanent economic hardship during and after treatments. First Coast Oncology has established the First Coast Cancer Foundation to help ease this burden. Please call 880-5522 for more information. <laughs>